and these are the sole reasons actually why I decided to create this video. I actually turned down the sponsorship that they offer to do with this one right here. But Union is just like, oh my gosh, Sue, this works so amazing. Hey guys, it's Sue, welcome back to my channel. All right guys, for today's video, I'm going to be looking at some of the very, very viral hyped up products in Korea ATM at the moment. And I'm going to do a very, very honest review on them. I actually did one of these a couple of months ago. I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting my bra. But anyways, I did one a couple of months ago and I, a lot of you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought, why not do another one? So without further ado, let's get this video started right away. Alright guys, starting off right off the bat. The Fui Pudding Pots. These are actually called the Lip and Cheek Blurry Pudding Pots to be exact. And these are the sole reasons actually why I decided to create this video because I am obsessed. Yes, we're starting on a positive note here. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that won't happen for the rest of the video. Just letting you guys know. But these Fui Pudding Pots are absolutely beautiful. I haven't done actually a video raving about a makeup product in a while and it's because I haven't really been impressed except for the Colorgram Juicy Glats tints which I still use, I still love them. And let me tell you guys right now, the sheer amount of buzz these have created in Korea right now is insane. I was actually blown away because it's been a while since like a makeup, especially a makeup product has really taken the market by the storm. And I went to, I actually went to their Songsu store and it was packed with a capital P. I felt like I was in a jar of sardines or like anchovies or pickles or whatever you like. And I literally could not breathe. I almost had anxiety, like a panic attack because I cannot do crowds anymore because I'm, I'm too much of an introvert and I'm, I think I'm just getting old and stuff. But anyways, now I wouldn't have made this video specifically for this product if it was only the packaging that was cute. No sorry, no madame. It's actually the formula that I was really, really impressed by. Like its name, Pudding Pot, it has the most interesting and unique formula. Now, I did see that someone on TikTok, on my TikTok, commented like a Chinese brand also had a product with the same formula. But honestly, in Korea, we, ne we don't use Chinese brands. And I don't know if you can even get Chinese brands. So in Korea, it's very new. It's very original, very novel. So I love it. It looks like a jelly like pudding. But once you actually dig into it, it has this really interesting chocolate mousse texture and it makes me want to bite it into it every time. I know I say this every time I explain this product, but that's how I feel, I mean it. They also have a brush that you can use or you can just go in with your hand. Really be gentle with it though, because you really don't need a lot of product and all you do is take a little bit and apply it onto your lips. I already have a bit on right now, but just to show you guys. <gasps> and the formula, I heard that they made it so finely milled so that it will go in into the smallest, tiniest little crease. Any wrinkles, any fine lines that you might have on your lips, this is gonna sink in and just give you that nice blurry look. And I just, ah, oh, love it. And then what you do afterwards with the leftover is just go in and put it on your cheek areas. I already have some on right now and I don't wanna overdo it. I, but actually, I don't know if you can see it even on the camera, so let me just add it anyways. So like that, voila, that's all you need. Now you might ask the question, ooh, would it not stain my cheek areas? No, this actually doesn't stain your lips or cheeks per se. Like I said, they just made it finely milled so that it would just fill up the creases on your lips and hence making it really long lasting. And it doesn't stain so you can just put it on your cheeks and just wash it off later when you're cleansing your skin. It just feels really, really airy, velvety, smooth, nice, soft. Just everything you've dreamed of. There are 30 colors, which is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I think when I was choosing a colors for myself, I was like, where do I even start? So they've categorized all of these colors into moments. It's kind of like personal colors, but less restrictive, I guess. Cherry is the color that I will always, always go for. This is an amazing pink color. It even has a slight bluish hue undertone, meaning that it's pretty, pretty cool toned. So if you like any strawberry pinks, or you just like bright pinks, make sure to check it out. Next product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Medicube H Boost. Uh, what? What is your name? This little guy over here. Um, you guys know I'm so bad with names. I'm with this devices. Their names are very, very long. But it's this little fella here. The Medicube actually released this a quail 
while ago, I'm going to say they launched this like three months ago in Korea and it obviously went viral. And then now earlier this year, they are they're ver being very aggressive in terms of the marketing plan. And I'm seeing the ads everywhere. It's like, oh my goodness, you guys must be loaded with money or something, you know? So I thought I'd check. Oh, they did send me this, by the way. They did send me the product. So I'm very grateful for that. But I'm just going to keep keep it real and be honest with you guys because that's how I like it. But... <laughs> I actually turned down the sponsorship that they offer to do with this one right here because of two reasons. First, at that time when they had asked me, my skin barrier was very damaged. And you're not supposed to use this if you have extremely sensitive skin. And also, you're not supposed to use this if you have contact dermatitis, which, hello! If you guys are a long time selfie, you guys know that is one of the only issues that I have with my skin, really, apart from acne. That's why I cannot deal with any like rough roughness or physical contact i'm okay with ingredients i'm like come on in you know welcome now don't get me wrong i love medicube and this is actually the device that i personally love this is the ems shot you guys know that uh this is the device that i've been using for years now i actually changed into the new one because they sent it over and just like hey any free device I'll take, no complaining there. This is basically one that will stimulate the muscles deep within your face and it kind of creates this vibration, I guess. And I just love how it feels. And anytime that I kind of want to deep puff or have a nice workout for my face, I will use this. Now going back to this one. Now this one is actually a special one because they basically combined all of the devices that they had before, compressed it into one so that you don't have to charge every single one and you don't have to reach out for a different one every single time you want special different benefits. No, they combined and just squished it to one. And I'm just like, why couldn't you have done that in the first place? But I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not really Really, but so they have five different modes they have booster mode that helps with the absorption of the product microcurrent mode for skin volume elasticity derma shot mode that's for muscle contraction so that's what, what the ems shot offers and then the air shot mode for pore care oh that is the device that i did not like i just don't like that t -t -t like the needle prickly feeling it's just that's just personal preference and they also have the led light and vibration mode so there's a lot of modes going into it and to be honest initially i wasn't really interested i wasn't really invested because like i said i have contact dermatitis and i just didn't like the fact that i had to rub this surface against my skin once again contact dermatitis hello but union she's like oh my gosh sue this works so amazing and she was showing me like results that she did with the clinic at the clinical lab and i was like huh maybe it does work so i started using it but obviously i haven't used it long enough to actually share with you guys any real results but i did I use it just to see how it is and I will say first it is very convenient like you just have this one stick and you can solve everything and it doesn't hurt okay I'll be honest I didn't really try out the air shot because I was really scared but everything else it doesn't hurt at all it's actually really calming and I did like the experience although I will say I wish the surface area was a little bigger it's too small for me and to answer the question would I recommend it the most important thing when it comes to any kinds of devices really is that you have to be diligent and you have to be consistent with it or else you're literally literally really draining pouring money down the drain like true because with these devices as promising as they sound it's not like they're gonna fix your problems overnight or even a month you have to use these for every single day for a very long period of time it's like skincare really so really ask yourself that question am i the kind type of person who will be able to use this every single day and get that bang out of the buck, you know? Like for example, I highly recommend the EMS shot because I know that I actually use it frequently and I really like how it makes me feel. I like the experience with it. And so I would 100% recommend this for me. But for you guys, ask yourself that question. Would I be able to get into the habit of it? And honestly guys, this doesn't pertain to Medicube devices only. It pertains to every single devices that are out there, which is a lot because there's this whole device trend going on, especially within Korea right now. So next trend that's been going around a lot is PDRN, the ingredient PDRN. Brands from left and right are jumping onto this bandwagon 
and they are taking advantage of it. So as I mentioned, PD RNA is originally an ingredient extracted from salmon. Salmon spam to be exact, or salmon DNA as we would like to professionally say. But basically, people were looking at the DNA of salmon, they were like, huh, it's very similar to humans. Why don't we try and see if it helps with the regenerating effects? So they started putting it into our skin, like any scarring wounds or joints, and they saw a lot of improvement in the area. And they still use it to this day. If you go to dermatologists, you can get PDRN shots to help with the regenerating process. So it's actually a very prevalent ingredient used in the medical field and so because of how enticing the ingredient is a lot of skincare brands have started to incorporate it into their skincare so here are two PDRN products that actually I'm enjoying right now one is Jennifer I've mentioned it before I really like it it does use the salmon DNA so it's not vegan so I know a lot of you guys were concerned about that but I just really like the formulation of this it just hits the spot. It's viscous, but watery, but hydrating, and it really, really does a good job in hydrating, nourishing my skin as she likes it to be. You know, every skin is different. Mine's more combo, but I have extremely dry, dry cheek areas, and so I need a little bit more viscosity to fill up that high dehydrationness, dehydratedness, and so this just does a really phenomenal job in it and this also has other ingredients such as vitamin capsules so it's going to also help with brightening and stuff so this has been working great for me another one that I've been really enjoying and this one is actually the one that's kind of trending in Korea right now my friend Adang, she's been raving about it and she really really loves it and I will say I am very very impressed with this one and this one is very interesting first right off the bat the PDRN they used is extracted from red ginseng so if you guys were a little concerned about the salmon extract plenty of vegan options out there like VT and also who else yes Dr. G they use PDR and derived from extracted from Sika so don't you guys worry about that I know I was like oh my gosh salmon spam the only option we have this is interesting because the formulation is a very watery cream the reason why I say it's interesting is because as you blend it out usually these types of formulation it kind Kind of just seems to melt down or evaporate the water content it kind of evaporates it just seems to melt down and seep into your skin but with this one I don't know about you guys but when I apply them to my face it kind of especially when I layer on top of a very hydrating formulation it kind of of seems to not dissolve and I mentioned this in one of my recent videos so you guys get the point but as opposed to seeping it it just creates this occlusive outer layer and it's because they want to give that nice facial like post facial look so that your skin looks really gleaming shiny splendid shimmering splendid and it just feels like you've gotten a nice treatment so I absolutely love the idea I love the aim that they're going for I love the finish so this has been working great for me as a matter of fact sometimes I like to use these both so make sure to check these out but not least i do have these cushions these are the by ecom egf bb creams these are actually bb creams that come in a cushion format so that was really interesting and i know that they collabed with a korean beauty youtuber bomni she's actually a friend of mine hi baby if you're watching she's gorgeous she does a lot of makeup stuffs and she's really into like foundations like the texture and everything so by ecom is actually a brand that's really popular in korea but i don't think they're very interested in spreading or going outside of korea or like us or whatever so they actually have a good strong following in korea i've noticed now this isn't your regular cushion should i say it's come with a puff but inside instead of a sponge drenched with the foundation you get a nice aperture and so what you do is you press the plate and stuff will come out not stuff sorry that sounded weird the bb cream will come out you can use this plate like a nice palette where you can mix it up with other foundations or just spread it out how i like to use it is with my finger my clean finger after i washed my hands yes thank you very much i like to spread it out evenly onto my face and then just to buff everything in with a puff and i gotta say guys I love BB cream so this I love I love how it makes my skin look afterwards they look so dewy they are so easy to work with and I love the finish that they give however I will say BB creams are not for everyone I remember back when I had more of an oily skin type and I had a lot of acne BB creams were not my best option they lack so much coverage and you guys know i've always had really big hormonal acne 
soon to deal with so it wasn't helping in, in that department and I had oily skin when I was really young like at the beginning stage of my YouTube I had really oily skin so the BB cream it's very glowy so it did it just made my skin look even oilier but if you do have more of a dry skin type and you like that glowy finish and texture is your main concern and you want your skin to look flawless and smooth as a crystal definitely want to check out bb creams out and the reason why i recommend this in particular is because it solved my biggest ick when using bb creams which is the fact that it's so hard to retouch up on my makeup when especially when i'm outside because usually bb comes come in a tube right so it's really hard to reapply when you're outside because i'm hello i'm not gonna carry a huge like a whole tub of bb creams when i'm going outside you know but with this because it's already in a cushion format i can just if i want to retouch like reapply i can just plop out some out and just apply it on so it just solves my problem now despite how much i love it another downside is that it does not come in any other shade it only comes in one shade that is the biggest bummer of bb creams you'll notice that with bb creams they only carry maybe like three shades oh Purito actually carries a lot of different shades. So if you guys wanted to try your BB creams and you guys were looking into a different shade, make sure to check their brand out. Their BB cream is really, really good as well. But with this one, alas, it only comes in one shade. Now, in terms of the shade, it's a more of a beige, yellowy, neutral color. And I gotta say, their color compared to other BB creams is less ashy. Oh my goodness. I think the ashiness is also another aspect that just really startles me when I, whenever I use a BB cream I'm just like why is it so ashy but then once you spread it out it becomes very natural so it's okay but I think I'm always like kind of shocked but this one actually has a color of a foundation even it's not as ashy it's very natural oh guys I want to add one little thing about the longevity if you guys use this on its own the longevity for me at least on my skin it didn't last as long so I even though I do have really dry cheek areas my t-zone she gets sweaty and, then, and I told you you guys in my la latest video it's getting hotter and hotter in korea so <laughs> it kind of melts away really nicely i will say on on my face but it does disappear i'd say like four hours max but if you top this off with another foundation or really thin base product it will actually help you elongate the longevity of your foundation or base makeup all right guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my very very honest review on the whole i will say though i was very happy with the majority of them so make sure to check these out and be responsible with shopping and your money. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next.